Following the unrest in Baltimore after the Freddie Gray death, many community leaders are talking about how to prevent it from happening in their communities. News 8's Harrisburg reporter Portia Johnson spoke with Harrisburg's mayor. Lack of education and job opportunities. Mayor Eric Papafoot says there are problems facing both Harrisburg and Baltimore. If you put all of those together, um, you have a very combustible mix. That could lead to unrest rioting or crime. For example, some say Freddie Gray's criminal history shows signs of trying to get quick money, like charges of burglary, drugs, and illegal gambling. This has prompted more discussion about the lack of opportunity. I submit that we are getting what we put in on the back end. The mayor's senior advisor, Carl Singleton, says that's why he's trying to invest in career development for minorities. According to data from the Census Bureau, Harrisburg's average unemployment rate for blacks between 2011 and 2013 was nearly 25 percent, more than double what it was for whites, and the numbers are similar in Baltimore. Singleton points to institutionalized racism as a barrier. It is a system that is set up to benefit the chosen few and not the masses. Singleton says the city is making a big effort to attract minority contractors, awarding them jobs, and focus on programs like My Brother's Keeper that helps young black men with gainful employment out of school. Along with increasing job opportunities to help reduce crime, city leaders say police have a job to do as well. Have enforcement without trust and rapport it will almost always lead to direct conflict. Our police really can get to know every member of every neighborhood. And prevent a situation like Baltimore from happening here. In Harrisburg, Portia Johnson, News 8.